really hard to find wedding dresses that fit. Pinches me up here. My skin is actually hanging over the dress. Is it going to fit properly? Is that zipper going to do up in the back? Flabby arms. When you're up at the altar and everybody's looking at your back, that all of that extra skin is going to be poking out and folding out there. Not pretty. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. Oh my god, I can't breathe. <laughs> kind of really tight, really everywhere. <laughs> this is Kathy. Her dress is so tight, she can barely breathe. And her big day is just oh six weeks god. away. I have another bum. But it should be smooth. I'm so worried that I'm going to look hideous on my wedding day. It's my maternal rub. <laughs> oh, me, I already am. <laughs> I need serious help to get this dress to fit me. Kathy's looking soft and flabby in her dress, but we've got the tough love answer to that problem. Let's go. Is there a Kathy in the house? Tommy, you're up. I'm going to be your trainer. Nadine Bowman, I'll be your nutrition specialist. How do you feel the way that dress fits you? Well, a little depressed. Doesn't quite fit. Six weeks, you're going to look great in that dress. This is your food diary. Keep track of everything you eat for one week. You're going to switch your clothes. You start now. Right now? I just right. got ambushed by Tommy and Nadine. Whoa, they're scary. We're going up that? If you look to your left. Kathy is going to have to say goodbye to her favorite <laughs> treats. No more vino. And hello to working harder than ever before. This is what happens when you get caught cheating. If she doesn't want to be a bulging bride. I was so stupid to buy the dress so tight. <laughs> that was my biggest mistake. When I bought the dress, it was too tight. And so now it still doesn't fit. We've been engaged for over a year now, and it's totally last minute. <laughs> we don't even have our rings. I have no idea what the priority for organizing a wedding is. We have matching shoes, so uh, we're off to a good start. When Richard and I cook together, it's definitely not lean cuisine. And then we eat a recipe that was probably originally intended for six between the two of us. <laughs> That's really good. I love pancakes, red wine, popcorn. It's my own fault because I drink too much wine. I eat delicious food. They say that the woman you marry is never going to be as thin as the day you marry her, so, so, so it's a good place to start. <laughs> nice. I mean, it might be a little heavier than some, but it, it's never really bothered me. I just wanted to get into my wedding dress. <laughs> I'm Tommy Yura, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach, Nadine Bowman. We're on a mission to help brides look great on their big day. Kathy's food diary was full of huge portions of high fat, high calorie treats, and alcohol. Welcome to the Isle of Shame, Kathy. First stop on the aisle, this is the big boy breakfast. You have to be one big boy not to gain weight from this. Just eight of these guys, 1,000 calories. Syrup, just two tablespoons on each pancake. That's about 800 calories, and that's a conservative estimate. 2,220 calories in this meal alone. Oh my goodness. Let's see what else you've been eating. This stop is called the Chinese chow down. We've got the deep fried pork. That's 360 calories per one cup, and you had two spring rolls, chow mein, top it all off with a beer, 150 calories. Ay, ay, ay. But then you didn't stop. Dessert. Late night snack. <laughs> and a half liter of red wine, 2,700 calories, and 11 servings of fat. So gross. Doesn't end here, there's more. I call this the full fat feast but just five crackers and cheese, salami and olives adds up to 755 calories. That's a big snack. And after that snack, fried chicken, potato salad, top it all off with a piece of chocolate cake and a second dessert, lemon meringue pie. I have no self-control at parties. There's gonna be a lot of those in your future. Hmm. Eight glasses of wine a month, that's 3,500 calories, and that's a weight gain of 12 pounds a year. You're eating high fat, high calorie foods, and it has to stop. Short-term focus, getting into the dress. Long-term focus, Staying skinny. <laughs>
Now it's time to weigh in on the consequences of all this snacking. How you doing, Kathy? I'm good, how are you? Welcome to your shape analysis. Bust, 35. Waist, 31. Hips, 39. Oh my goodness. You're not happy. Not ideal. Gonna get you to step up on the scale? Weight, 152 pounds. 152. So, we have a height of five foot six, dress size 10, Weight of 152 pounds. Now, your body type is more of a pear shape. Let's go try on that dress. This is Jean, she's our seamstress. She's gonna Kathy, help you with your dress. This way. Can you breathe in? I'm at maximum suck right now. Okay. How's it going in there, girls? Almost there. Wow. What should we know about this, Jean? Well, this dress is a slim A-line silhouette. And if you could turn around here. Swooshing along the back and on the sides here, it's gonna do nothing for her in the area of comfort. Kathy is a size 10, and this dress is a size 10, but the wedding dresses fit two size smaller, so it's actually gonna feel like a seven or an eight. Okay, how does it feel on you? Ooh, it's tight. Your fitness plan is gonna include tons of exercises for your midsection, butt, hips, thighs. Will you do everything that I say to do on the fitness plan? And do you promise to stick to your meal plan, even in times of temptation? I do. We've got six weeks to tone Kathy's arms and shoulders, slim down her waist, and take inches off her hips. It's so tight. I can't even tell you how tight it is. All I know is that deep breaths are not an option, and eating probably won't be an option in that dress either at this point. How are you doing, Kathy? I'm good, Tommy. How are you? Good. Today, you're going to be completing an obstacle course. It's gonna give me a great idea of where you are physically, what your fitness level is, and ultimately, how best to plan your fitness program. The first thing you're gonna go through are the gold rings. Oh. Two, three, four. These gold bands symbolize your commitment in marriage. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. I'm dying. Come with me. <laughs> this is called Knocked Up. <laughs> Welcome to the ball and chain. Use your arms. Come on, Kathy. Sometimes you gotta carry some dead weight. It's all part of marriage. First time around, I'm like, oh yeah, this is fun. <laughs> and then suddenly the ball weighs a million pounds and you're dragging it and it's getting heavier. I think we have an endurance problem. That's two. I'm dying. Working out with Tommy today, I thought I was gonna die. Your cardio and your endurance, we definitely have to work on. You died. Died. Her dress is wide open at the top. Lots of back, lots of shoulders are gonna be showing, so my main goal is to really tone her, tone her up, make her feel great. Kathy, we're on the hunt for foods that are gonna keep you out of your wedding dress. We knew you were a fan of the wine. One glass, 83 calories. I'm sure you're having more than that in one night. On occasion. Lee, every day. <laughs> we gotta go. No more vino. Wow, Kathy. I found it! The meat, how could I miss it? 800 calories in one of these things? <laughs> one tablespoon of this, 55 calories, and I know you're putting on at least four tablespoons for one pancake. This is out of control. She needs to stop so now before it's too late. Just pray it doesn't bust out. Next, Kathy's friends lead her into temptation. This is what happens when you get caught cheating. And I make them all pay. Run, run, run! Oh my god, I can't breathe. <laughs> Kathy bought a wedding dress one size too small. She's gonna have to dig deep to fight the flab, and she's only got six weeks until the big day. <laughs> I'm dying. It's so tight that deep breaths are not an option. How you doing, Kathy? I'm good. Soon to be a newlywed. Well, being a newlywed usually brings about a lot of change. On average, the first five years of marriage usually equals a weight gain of 15 pounds. Given your current wine consumption, you're on pace to gain 12 pounds a year. 
So by your third anniversary, this is what you could look like. <laughs> That's a bit brutal. I take it you don't want to look like that in your third year anniversary? I don't think that's what Richard bargained for. If you follow Nadine's nutritional advice and you follow my fitness plan, this is your other option of what you could look like. I love it. You like that a lot better? What are you prepared to do to look like that? Whatever you say. Good, let's go. All right, Kathy, you're gonna do the pike. So push up position, feet up on the ball. Keeping your legs straight, stick your butt up towards the ceiling so you're on your toes. When you come back down, remain on your toes. Where do you feel that the most? Right down my stomach. Good, because that's where you need to slim down. I know what it looks like in that wedding dress. This is primarily for your lower body. Hips, thighs, butt, and your core. Kathy's pretty soft all around. I really want to taper her stomach down. Uh, she carries a lot of weight through her hips and her legs and her butt. Kathy's going to be working out five days a week. Two in the gym with me and three doing cardio on her own. Good. That was hardcore. I mean, that's an ideal thing to get into that wedding dress, but at that moment, you're just like, when will this end? <laughs> Kathy, this new food plan is designed to get you on some eating habits that are healthy and also designed to give you some energy for Tommy's workouts and all those wedding errands you have. Breakfast, you got one cup of strawberries, one cup of cereal, and one cup of skim milk. Lunch is four ounce piece of salmon, so that's about the size of your palm. One cup of vegetables. Dinner. We're not gonna take you off red meat entirely, but we just have to, you know, cut it down to a portion of the cow instead of eating the whole thing. With, of course, lots of vegetables. Sometimes the temptation to nibble is so strong and I'm just like, come on, Kathy, you can do it. It's not that hard, but it actually is quite hard. <laughs> and some girlfriends come over last night and we got a little carried away. <laughs> And I fell off the bandwagon. I didn't stick to my meal plan. And I, I, I should say that I feel terrible about it, but I had a great time. <laughs> so good and so bad. <laughs> I hope they had a good time last night. Because today, <laughs> bring them to the center of pain. <laughs> Kathy and the usual suspects. <laughs> you guys have a good time last night? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, to the cone, to the cone, to the cone. Yep. Let's go, let's go, let's go. She cheated. And oh yeah, she got caught. Hands off your legs. <laughs> Six, five. What happened to all the smiles and giggles? You guys are kind of quiet right now. Kathy was so gonna pay for this. Lay back, lay back. Hold on to her calves tight. Kathy definitely learned her lesson today. She's got three weeks left. She's got a choice to make, how she wants to look in that dress. She's got to be accountable. You guys need to look after her. She's got three weeks left. Don't fail. I'm not going to be so nice next time. Next, the planning of the wedding isn't going so well. No, I haven't done that. No, I haven't done that. Is that bad? <laughs> Kathy couldn't resist temptation, and she paid for it. This is what happens when you get caught cheating. I'm halfway through, and I just pray that I'm down a few pounds. How you doing, Kathy? I'm good, how are you? Doing very well. Doing good, three week weigh in. I know. Bust, 35 inches. The same. Didn't want to lose there. <laughs> Waist, 29. You are down two inches. You! <laughs> Hips. 38. You're down one inch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gonna get you to step up on the scale. Weight 147 pounds. You've lost five pounds. Five pounds. We need to try on the dress and see how it fits. Hey, guys. We're here for the three week dress fitting. Clint, come on in. 
So what's the verdict, girls? Hold on, I'm just zipping up. All right. Tell us what's going on with this dress now. Still a little tight here. You know, like when she bends over, okay. that's not comfortable at yeah. all. Okay. One more concern that I have, she could just turn around here. There's still lots of pulling in the waist and that's causing the pulling of the placket. This is sticking straight out and that's not supposed to happen. So this needs to lie flat. We've got three weeks left. It's gonna be pretty intense. We're gonna do a lot of abdominal exercises. Obviously get you a little bit tighter up on the top. It's kind of a bummer when it's only five pounds and I've sweated my guts out for it. I was so stupid to buy the dress so tight. <laughs> that was my biggest mistake. Well. So, so what's, what's on the so, agenda, babe? What do you have to plan? The planning of the wedding. It's not going so well. No, I haven't done that. No, I haven't done that. No, I haven't done that. We're probably not gonna have favors for the guests. I don't know if we're gonna have cake or not. Is that bad? I'm finding this quite time constraining. Working all day, working out at night, same time I'm supposed to be organizing my wedding, but somehow that's being pushed back yet again. These last three weeks are the most important because that's when more distractions come into play. She's got a choice to make, how she wants to look in that dress. I'm gonna work her really hard anyway for the next three weeks. Next. Come on guys, it's just a little hill. Richard gets in on the action. Did you guys do this every day? And we see if Kathy's hard work has paid off. Wait. Kind of really tight really everywhere. <laughs> Bulging bride Kathy has spent six weeks fighting her food cravings and sweating in the sun in an effort to fit into a wedding dress that's one size too small. I'm dying. I was so stupid to buy the dress so tight. <laughs> now it's Richard's turn to get a taste of what Kathy's been going through. Welcome to your partner challenge. So Richard, you're probably wondering why I brought you along today. Well. Kathy's been working extremely hard over the past few weeks. Yeah, no doubt about that. And I uh, wanted to show you how far she's come. It's gonna mimic marriage. Sometimes you go uphill, <laughs> sometimes you go downhill. Come on, guys, it's just a little hill. My legs are on fire. Primarily uphill, uh, some curves, some bends, lots of rocks, loose rocks, loose gravel. I told you it was gonna be a rocky road. I thought you meant ice cream. Come on, slow pokes. We're going up that? <laughs> the hardest part is being on the gravel road. It's just an unrelenting hill. It just, there was no brakes. So just up and up and up. To the top! Oh my god, Richard. We're going up there. <sighs> oh. Do you guys do this every day? I can't believe you've been doing this for six weeks. Oh, Tommy. Hang in. And both Richard and Kathy uh, worked really hard. Um, it, it was a grind. I think uh, everybody's legs were heavy towards the end. Good job. High fives. <gasps> How'd that feel? Oh, that was hard work. You guys did really well. She's come a long way, hasn't she? I'd say. You did a great job, man. We're done. How you doing, Kathy? I'm great. How are you guys? Great. Get you to stand right here, looking straight forward. Bust. 34 inches. You're down one inch. All right. Good. Waist. <laughs> 27. Wow. Oh, yeah. Four inches down. Holy. Hips. 36. You're down three inches. Wow. 34, 27, 36. Not too bad. That's Wait. incredible. Well, let's see how <laughs> incredible it is. I'm going to get you to step up on the scale. Weight, 141 pounds. No, it's not. Kathy, it you're is. down 11 pounds. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. It's time to try on the dress. Ready? Kay. Okay, let's go. Hey, Jean. Guys. Kathy's here for a final fitting. Kathy, Hello. come on in. So how's it looking there? Oh, we're just zipping up. As a surprise for Kathy, I've invited a few of the usual suspects to join us for the final fitting. Are you girls ready now? Here she comes. Okay.
This dress could not fit any better. We zipped it up, went up like butter. There's ease here, so she's got room to dance. It fits great on top. And best of all, if you just turn around here, look at her back, it's like wow. sculpted. It looks so good. You worked hard. This is the results of your labor. Congratulations. Thank you. It felt fabulous. The zipper just went right up my back. It just, it just fit beautifully. She looks great. I think uh, when Richard sees her, when she, she comes down that aisle, he's not going to know what hit him. Kathy's hard work and dedication paid off, losing 11 pounds and 8 inches. She'll wow everyone when she walks down the aisle on her big day. I worked so hard for this last six weeks, there's no way I'm stopping now. I just feel great. I've come so far as far as strength and cardio, everything. I feel amazing. How happy can a girl get?